Congratulations on purchasing your CP15 Comfort Sprayer. In this video, we will show you how to set up your CP15 and have it ready for spraying. First, remove the tank, back, strap, sprayer lance and arm strainer from the packaging. Inside the tank, you will find a bag which contains the owner's manual and small parts of the sprayer assembly, as well as the sprayer hose and trigger. To install the harness, insert the top loop of the harness to the top of the tank and secure with the plastic pin provided in the plastic bag. There are two loop straps located at the bottom of the harness. Insert them into the slots of the bottom of the tank and secure each one with a plastic pin that has been provided. Once these straps are in place, you will need to insert the two shoulder adjustment straps to the tank. The CP15 harness has a waist and chest support to help take the weight off of the operator's back. Next, you need to install the pipe that comes complete with the trigger. Insert the pipe connection into the back of the tank and secure with the cap screw. The pipe connection is a tight fit. Use soap to help insert the pipe if needed. Once the pipe is installed, insert the lance into the trigger housing, which consists of a grommet and a cap nut. Tighten the nut to ensure a good seal to the trigger. At the end of the lance is an elastic elbow. Assemble the nozzle into the nozzle nut. Place the nozzle in first, then the washer. Then tighten the nozzle to the elbow. Once the spray hose is installed and the lance is installed to the trigger, turn the sprayer over to expose the pump diaphragm area. Insert the arm strainer through the two bearings and the crank arm. Insert the flat washer at the end and lock the strainer arm in place with the split pin. Finally, switch the pressure control valve to either high or low setting, depending on your application, and then insert the water plastic sieve and secure the blue cap on top. It is important to keep the sieve in place when filling the tank, as this will prevent any dirt and debris in the water from clogging up the system. Your sprayer is now set up, ready for spray. Inside the packet that comes with the sprayer, you will find the following parts. Three plastic harness pins for securing the harness to the sprayer. Two flat washers for securing the strainer arm. One washer is a spare. One plastic bracket that gets inserted to the side of the sprayer, which is used to hold the lance when not in use. One nozzle cap. One yellow hollow cone nozzle. One green flat jet nozzle and lastly, one split pin clip. Thank you for watching our video and happy spraying.